Today we're going to be talking about load balancing on bare metal. And my guest is Xu Tao Song. And Xu Tao is a software engineer at Beijing Unify Technology Company. Thank you very much for joining us, Xu Tao. Thank you. And we also have a translator here with us today. So we're going to try to help facilitate the conversation a little bit. So I'm going to give a quick overview of the bare metal on with load balancing. Then I'd ask, like to ask you about Porter, okay? Okay. So when we think about open source load balancing on bare metal, we talk about how backend workloads are typically exposed using a load balancer in a Kubernetes cluster, correct? Yes. Okay. So and typically, load balancing plugins are provided by cloud provide. Are 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 are, are off the provider by you know, for for Kubernetes correct yes, yes, and that often requires deployment to a specific cloud or infrastructure. Yes, yes, and so when you work on premise with bare metal clusters, when you work on your own environment with bare metal clusters, Kubernetes does not offer an implementation for load balancing. Yes, so Porter exists as an open source solution to the issues of load balancing on bare metal in production on Kubernetes. Yes, yes. Okay, great. So so when we talk about that, can you explain Porter? What is Porter and why did you develop it? Porter you like uh, its name. It is a porter to bring load balancer to bare metal Kubernetes. Ah, okay. He has three functions. One is uh, load balancing, uh, is its name. Two is exposed service. Three is uh, IP access management. Okay, so tell us about number one in more detail. Okay. Um, the porter uses ECMP to implement load balancing. ECMP. Uh, its uh, full name is uh, e Equal Cost Multipass. It's a module in Linux kernel. Use ECMP. We can have different ways to single service. If we have uh, different ways to single service, we have high availability. Uh, even one of these nodes down. The service is their own. It uh, have no effect to users. Uh, we also use BGP to broadcast our these routes. We have different routes, but we have to broadcast these routes. So we use BGP. BGP, it, its full name is Border Protocol Gateway. Mm -hmm. oh, or Border Gateway Protocol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. It can, it can tell his uh, neighbor. Uh, most time, his neighbor is uh, a root, a router. He can tell the router the passes. So actually, um, and it is dynamically. We can, um, we can broadcast the route on runtime without. Uh, 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 so we can do it without uh, prepare it in advance. Okay. It is, mm, it is dynamically, uh -huh. uh, without an, an any human operations. Um, uh -huh. Also, we, we use BGP to to connect uh, the user's router and uh, our service with BGP, even you have just uh, two nodes, two nodes under the service, we can have multiple routes to this service. Ah, okay. So if, so mo if you have uh, three layer routers, use BGP, and each row layers, uh, row layers have two routers, we can have two. Uh, 
two p multiple two and um, two multiple two have uh, eight passes to the, our service. So we have uh, h much more high ab ability. Okay. So then you said there's three aspects of Porter. That's number one. Yes. What is number two? Exposed service. Yes, exposed service. We know in Kubernetes, the service the IP, service IP, the IP of service is a virtual IP. We cannot access out of the cluster. We can just access in the in cluster, ju just in the nodes that which is in this cluster. Outside, the user can also directly access the service the IP of service. So we have to expose this IP of service to outside, so the service can be served, can be, uh, the service can be used. So we use BGP to, or use BGP to broadcast a route, and uh, we also use IP access management to give, give the service an external IP the external IP can be accessed by outside. We um, we maintain the relationship between the external IP and the cluster IP. We just uh, write some IP rules, IP tables, to uh, to let the outside the traffic from outside can be reached to the service. Okay, and then you have the third. You had the third aspect of Porter. What is number three? Number three is IP access man management. In biomental communities uh, and uh, in many enterprises, they care, they care about the security of IP. They do not want uh, the, the IP can, uh, the service can be exposed uh, casually. Uh, casually. The IP of service can be exposed casually. So we have to control the IP. They also want some dynamic, they also want some mm. uh, 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 they also want to uh, use some automatic in, uh, orchestra orchestration. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Declarative. Yes, yes. Automated. Right. Yes, they both want automated, but uh, also want want to control. Control, right? They, the IP of serv external IP of service cannot be, cannot use the run uh, casually. Um, so we develop a IP access a IP access management in the portal. We can use this module to control the service. I so, so the external IP of service you can set a static IP of this service uh, by other means we can you can control the IP of the, of the service um, second we can set a CI, CIDR for a namespace so whenever uh, wh whatever service in this namespace the IP is uh, the external IP is in this CIDR Okay, okay. How does your company use Porter? We just uh, use Porter to connect our uh, ICE. ICE is our cloud. Oh, it's your cloud. Three. And it's yes. on bare metal. Yes, yes. We use uh, we. Um, Just uh, you can just say ask ask her in 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 in, in Chinese. Uh, so for our portal, on one hand, we have to uh, connect it with bare metal, mm -hmm. and also on the other hand, we have to connect it with our cloud platform IC. Okay, so you have to do both. Yes. Yes. Both of them are connected by BGP. Uh, okay, the BGP is the piece between. Then. It's the it's in the middle. Then it, yeah. Yes, BGP is the 
is like um, post post mail, post mail of our uh, infra infrastructure. Uh -huh. He post uh, he tell everything to the uh, outside. He's the porter. Yes, yes. He helps. He helps tell. He helps communicate. Yes, yes. He, he talks from. He he he. He listens to one to he listens to the to the load balancing environment, and communicates it to Kubernetes. Then yes, we have multiple mu multiple BGP, so the information is uh, trans transform transformed from one BGP to another BGP. So all the complicated network can be connected. Okay, so the complicated metal work can be connected. And it cannot connect unless there is the unless there is the porter, yes. and so there might be multiple porters that work together. Mm, no, just one. Porter. Just the one porter. Just one porter. Porter is serving communities, and uh, other network is using its BGP to connect our, connect our porter. Okay, so why did you decide to take this approach? What problems were you having before you started using Porter? Mm, because in Kubernetes, we have three pro approaches to expose service. Just to let uh, the users can access the service. One is node port. Node port is uh, not node port using a larger port uh, with a node to access the service uh, almost like uh, 192 one, uh, one nine, one six eight point uh, one point one. okay and and uh, with a large no uh, large port often it is uh, five digits uh, a five digit port digits. it is hard to remember also we bind all, all the service to this node. So if the node is done, our service looks like it's done too. Ah. Another way is ingress. Ingress ingress using Nginx to expose service. However, we have no ingress for ingress itself. Ah. Ingress cannot uh, expose himself to outside. He must uh, use node port or load balancer to export itself. Node port has the problem we see, we see before. And uh, the load balancer is a third way. The balancer button is only can be used in cloud provider, but it cannot use in environmental. So people feel hard to export service in environmental communities. I see. So the load balancer in GenX does not necessarily have the capability that you need. You need did Porter to help communicate between the bare metal and Kubernetes. Mm. Not the case. Not the case. Okay. Yes, not, uh, ingress is a good choice to expose service because okay. uh, it's use domain to wrap the service. It is used. Uh, Used used very frequently in K Kubernetes, but it uh, has problem to expose itself. It uh, cannot work before it uh, before it's exposed to it uh, to outside. Mm. Porter can ex expose it to outside. Okay, okay. What is your co wh tell me about your company? What does your company provide? My company is Unify Unify. And my com um, Unify is doing a lot of work in cloud, cloud computing, and also database. Um, this year, we pay attention to container. We think container is a book. Uh, it's it's the truth. Okay, so containers are an irreversible trend. Yes, yes, yes. And and containers. And so you provide services to customers? Yes, yes. And the services are for application development? What are the services that you provide? Hosting? Hosting, 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 and the database, and the container. And also for some enterprise, we 
deploying some private cloud for them. Okay. And do these cloud providers mostly have bare metal? Yes, yes. They like bare metal. They think bare metal is fast and uh, and security. Mm -hmm. And so and so you now offer Porter to these customers? Yes, yes. Are they adopting Kubernetes? Yes, of course. Why? Kubernetes is uh, Kubernetes is uh, more flexible than virtual machines, and uh, we can have multiple ports in Kubernetes. So the, cu the custom, or our custom feels uh, Kubernetes is uh, like me. Uh, our clients also feel that Kubernetes is an irreversible trend and also the future for their uh, development. Ah, are they learning DevOps too? Yes, yes. Uh, we have DevOps. We our we have a brand called Kubesphere. Uh, it has DevOps. So you, so, so Porter now is a service you offer. Yes. Entry. It is an entry service in Kubesphere. Okay, and Kubesphere is your product. Yes. Yes. And so Kubesphere provides a a managed service with Kubernetes and Porter? Yes. Okay. How long have you been using Porter with Kubernetes? Uh, about six months, yes. Okay. What are you finding? What are you learning through your customers about Porter and Kubernetes? Um. How are they using it? How are, th how are they, what are the challenges they face? Mm, when when we promote uh, the portal to our our client, um, they seems uh, a a bit uh, feel a bit refused to BGP. Um, but uh, when I when I explained the pr uh, principle to them, they they will try, but they will not. They will not uh, open all the, all the BGP in all the on all of their routers. They just uh, open one router, just connect the, the Kubernetes clusters. So we ju can ju just uh, talk to one routers. So the other other passes sh have to be done in human. They feel uh -huh. they, f they feel BGP is less security. But I think this is a mi mistake. How do you give them confidence that it is secure? We just because in in Unify in my company we use B BGP to to connect our network. We have thousands of machines using BGP, so we just put our cases to them. Mm. They uh, then tr they trust us. Mm. They trust you because you've shown it works for you. Yes. Ah. Mm. So what's next for Porter? Um, as I say, some some clients is is still worrying about uh, BGP, so we will begin to think using other protocol, another uh, instead of BGP, to broadcast the passes, um, like uh, ARP or some other. Router, pa router protocol, um, for example, OSPF. Uh, and also, we want to ma make our portal more flexible, so we have more, we have, we can have more control on IP. Um, and also, we have to support more, more, also more future in BGP. Because BGP is a, a. a Crashing of futures, so we have to spot more futures to 
let users to can can use more feature to control the how the route how the path broadcast to the external. Okay, so what is your next development for Porter inside your own company? What do you want to do to make Porter better for you? Mm. Let me think about it. Mm. As um, my company is uh, focused on Quickcom's own enterprise clients, so what they say is mostly what we have to do. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. We wish you the very best, and I know you're speaking about Porter tomorrow. Yes, yes, tomorrow, 12. We look forward to following Porter and keeping in touch, so thank you very much for your time. I've been joined by, uh, m your, please pronounce your name for us again. Xue Tao Song. Xu Tao Song. Song. And Xu Tao is with um, Beijing Unified Technology Company. They are a service that provides bare metal solutions to yes. its customers. Yes. This is an interesting development. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you. Thank you. And th thank you very much for helping us with the translation. Thank you, thank you Yang.